In the previous video, we talked about designing the background for the team performance dashboard uh, and we have designed the background using the Microsoft PowerPoint and using the gradients and different features. Uh, and now in this video, we'll talk about designing the uh, pivot tables and the pivot charts, different pivot charts, uh, and also inserting the spark lines. So how we can do it uh, like we will uh, complete this task, we will insert the gross head, the gross head in these things and all these um, uh, features in learning all those spark lines. So how we can do it? So watch this video till the end. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Ishtiaq Khan and welcome to Grow with Ishtiaq Khan YouTube channel. I'm a young professional working in a corporate sector from last four years and proficient in designing innovative solutions using my data analysis, business, business operations and customer experience skills. In this channel, we will talk about opportunities and growth. So if you are a student, fresh graduate, young professional in the early phase of your career or a mid-level professional, then this platform is just for you. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and also press the bell icon to get notified about all the So in this video, we are designing the uh, pivot tables and the pivot charts and inserting the spark lines. So how we can do it uh, From the da raw data. So first of all, we will create a sheet that is called the support sheet And in the support sheet we will first of all uh, insert the pivot tables and uh, In order to insert the pivot table Insert it here and Click on the pivot table, then we will use the external connection source or also we can use the table. So let's choose the connection and we have this query and data and now we click on the OK and this pivot table, this data will be inserted here. Now this is the data that we have, we only we need to create the pivot tables. So first of all, we need the gross sales and the total uh, sales and the total uh, discount. So this is the sum of the gross sales, the sum of the discount, sum of the cost, sum of the net sales, and sum of the gross margin. Now we need to convert these into value field setting this into dollar no number into currency and how we can convert it let's see and currency and then click on the zero and then click and convert into dollar also keep it in any currency you want but i will convert it into dollars and OK and convert it now. Use the feature of Format Painter. Now these are converted into dollar into currency format. Now this is the currency format. Now we need to insert two other cells to other fields and analyze and field items we need to calculate either the calculate fields and now we need to add discount percentage and for this we need to add the discount divide by gross sales eight it here now the next is gross margin percentage and for this we will the gross margin divide by net sales gross margin divide by net sales now also edit and click on ok they, they are to edit now we need to format this cell value field settings in the value field setting to the number format and in this in percentage with the two 
decimal sign chapter 2 and now copy it this format and also paste it here it's also posted it here so this is our required data now we need to we need to copy it here and we need to uh, segregate it month wise so how we can segregate it month wise uh, now click here and now open the private table show field list and here enter the month name now it's being segregated month wise and we do not need the grand total so power table options and two to total and filters show total do not show total for rows and total show total for columns and now this is our data now the next thing that we need to go with it is the uh, inserting the slide uh, spark lines now we need to click here on this click on insert and then click on the columns we need to get the spark lines for the columns now select the range for which we need to insert the spark line and click ok then insert, click on the spark line that I was spark line that you need also I need a highest high point and a low point also you, you can choose the colors for the high point and low point with the high point I need the dark green and for the low point I want that it must be dark it must be red now uh, copy it and also insert the spark lines for all these on the other fours and Now these are the spark lines are being inserted for all these. Now in order to now these spark lines are based on the month wise we can show for each of the month and for each of the year and now we need to insert it into our dashboard how we can insert it into our dashboard in a creative way so first of all insert A shape and this shape is good we will have five shapes here so you need to design the shape in a way that it's are equal in size and also now insert the text box this is the text box for me and right here now with it this text box so in formula bar you need to support sheet first of all we need to remove these these sum from these sums word from here and control F and replace the sum of with nothing and replaced now this is good for you and same is replace it here also control F replace and sum so we need only this is it. now now this is the dashboard and click here and now is equal to into the inserting this text box support sheet and in the support sheet I need this one C2 now format it the way you want now format it shape fill should be no fill and shape outline should be no outline also 